Greetings my fellow gamers and welcome to the Gamers Refuge. Today we're going to play a little bit more No Man's Sky. And we should be heading for what I hope to be the last uh, Atlas interface. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and blow this popsicle stand. Uh, well, helps if I select the right thing here. And I guess a nice little warp cell. Well, let's get the hell out of here now. Yeah. I've, you know, explored these worlds about as much as I want to. And all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hit our galactic map. And I've got nine atlas stones so far, so this will be the tenth. So, I'm hoping that the tenth is the last one because, you know, all these atlas stones are really taking up a lot of room. Yeah, and, and that's room I could be using for all kinds of other shit. So, I'd like to have those nine slots back. <laughs> Here we are, the tenth Atlas interface. There's a nice little planet there. Oh, shit, freighters warping in. Another planet there, space station. Oh, it's, oh, it, there's a decent bit of planets to be explored in this area as well. But first, let's go ahead and do this Atlas interface and see if this is the last one. Open up. Coming in. That's kind of funky. <laughs> and, and auto guidance there went kind of kind of wonky there for a second. And we're back to the back to the red ball again. All right. And I have found that these orbs on the floor, while they all don't, you know, give you a learned word, a lot of them do. So, I always go through and snag them up. And you can run and, you know, try to speed it along a little bit. I'm going to go and collect all these up, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut ahead, you know, to, you know, the actual interface. Alright, now that I've collected all those little orbs, let's do the interface. And already known. Already known. Alright, what are we going to get? Cool, this is the final interface. That's awesome. And still can't understand a damn bit of that language. The final interface is revealed, the Atlas beckoning. This is totality, this is conformity. I'm elated, terrified, and broken. Every waypoint has inexorably drawn me here, and I have come so very far. The revelation tears me asunder. My role is complete, my program ended. Nothing is real. This existence is an imitation of life, a model made by jaded intellects, enslaved to their actuality as I am enslaved to mine. What lies beyond that truth? Hmm. Let's obey. Through the gateway lies the answer. The only answer, I embrace the truth that I have no other choice. The gateway. Alright, so I guess that's it for this one. Thermo uh, did I get another Atlas stone? Let's see, I got six on my ship. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten Atlas stones. There, 
There must be one more, one more thing to hit or something, or one more thing to go to. Cause I got ten atlas stones, so yeah, they they get, they gotta be they gotta have a purpose. All right, so basically what it is is we have one more atlas interface to hit, and this is probably going to be the one where we need those 10 atlas stones. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to fuck too much with the planets. Yeah, I may go get some of the materials that I need, but I got to build another warp cell, and then we got to go hit this last atlas interface. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a warp cell and actually just kind of figure out what we need for our warp cell. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. No, wrong shit, wrong shit. Here we go. All right, so I don't have anything else available, so I'm going to make suspension fluid. And make the electron vapor. Make the antimatter. And make our warp cell. There we go. Yeah, I got yeah 35... Yeah, and you notice I got 35 slots on my ship, 44 slots on my uh, my exosuit. So, what the hell is... Yeah, sometimes there's some good stuff in these. What is this? Copper? Ah, fuck that shit. Alright. So, let's go ahead, let's jump to this Atlas interface, if we can hit it in one shot. Alright, so... that well for fuck's sake you know you know you know what would be really fucking nice is if I actually put the warp cell in the hyperdrive can't, can't go into warp speed without the damn fuel all right let's try this again so can we do this in one shot? Ooh, one more. Come on. Yes, we can. We can do it in one shot. I, I did upgrade my warp drive. So, yeah, I can I can jump pretty good distances. Like I said, I'm not even, I'm not even worried about fucking with those plants. I mean, you know, when I'm not shooting videos, I do love to explore. But, you know, especially on this pathway, most of the plants are pretty much, you know, about the same. No, nothing real special. I've run into a couple of lush planets, but I've, I've found those to be extremely rare. And here is, hopefully, the last Atlas interface. So, let's do it. Let's see what this is all about. damn structure itself is just this fucking huge. I could only imagine flying into something like this in real life. It'd be some pretty nerve-wracking shit, I think. <laughs> This one doesn't really have much for orbs, so we'll go ahead and collect the orbs, and then once again I'll jump ahead to the actual interface. All right, so let's go ahead and do this last interface, and you know, hopefully it's the last interface. Ah, finally learned word. All those orbs that I went and collected, which there weren't very many of them, but I didn't get shit from any of them. So what is this? Alright, we got us a warp cell. And give us another warp cell. Yeah, that's that's good. Alright. Alright, let's do the last uh, let's do this interface and hope it's the damn last. Let's go ahead and complete this. 
And here we go. Still can't understand a damn word it's saying. But it says, my journey is complete. A great sense of fulfillment washes over me, but fades as I realize that for all my efforts, I am unchanged. Unbidden, the atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway, and I realize what is about to happen if I let it. And our options are birth a new star with the ten atlas stones, or walk away and return to the galaxy. Well, we've come all this way, done all this shit, might as well birth the star and get rid of these atlas stones. Orb floods my mind with an image. A new star has been created in the edge of the galaxy. A new traveler will awaken there. I'm re re released, free to explore now. I can see the fabric of space. And I couldn't even finish reading all that shit. That's the one thing that annoys me is they give you a lot of text to read. And they don't give you enough fucking time to read it. But something about a new traveler has been born on the edge of the galaxy. And I'm free to go explore. So... I don't know. That's it. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I'm I'm rather disappointed, really. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be something more than that. But, well, yeah, before I get too fucking disappointed. Let me check something. Alert. Navigation data received. Okay. Black hole. Path towards black hole. Free exploration and path towards galactic core. The black hole intrigues me. I wonder where it will take us. Or if it has anything to do with the Atlas Stones we just used to birth this new star. I wonder, you know, if the developers had some sense about them and this black hole will take you to the new star that was just birthed that would be really nice although I can never really tell for sure so although this would be a really nice solar system to explore actually no not really I got one two planets three uh, yeah, about three plant. Uh, yeah, about three planets. Not a big deal. So what we need to do is I'm gonna put another warp cell into my hyperdrive, and we go ahead to the black hole. So you know, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to explore this theory. Or, uh, hypothesis, really. <laughs> but. Alright, black hole. You know what? Let's go for broke. Okay. And where. Where did we come out at? And give me some Thamion. There's a a planet, a space station. Planet don't really look very remarkable. Black hole, which does look remarkable. That's it. Uh, and another planet up there. It's kind of a dull ass solar system. Well, what's this? Oh, it must be a must be a fleet. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not in a powerful enough ship to take those bastards on. So, you know, which you know they they won't fire on you anyway unless you attack them. But 
Let's do the black hole. Fuck the dumb shit. Let's 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 do it. In we go. Hold on to your asses. Okay. I'm liking the look of the black hole travel. That's 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 nice. It's a little different. I mean, similar to similar to the warp trail, but in this case you got the stars just speeding by you and what appears to be the galactic core. A distress signal. Oh what the fuck Excuse excuse me? Pardon me? Pardon me? Excuse me? Your little uh watts just shoot at me. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, you fired at me first, motherfucker. So, guess what? You done fucked with the wrong person. You think you some badass space pirates? Oh, come on. Are you running? Are you fucking running from me? No, I guess not. Where you at, bitch? Oh, there you are. Who's shooting at me now? I don't see no... It, oh, there's a little indicator arrow there. Alright. I ain't worried about y'all. Okay, I got... I got sent into this... Solar system. Why? What is... What's the purpose? What is here? discovered by me that's great and I'm on a path towards the galactic core okay well okay. what's what's the description we got three planets two moons nothing remarkable let me go ahead uh, I'm gonna hit the space station all right so I'm gonna leave this episode here um, you know we finished the Atlas path which you know I must admit was very disappointing yeah, it, you trade in all ten of those atlas stones, which I could have got a shit ton of money out of, and a sun is, you birth a star on the edge of the galaxy, and something about, you know, a new, a new adventurer, or something. So, but it don't even give you, it don't even show you where it's at, it doesn't give you a path to get there, at least nothing that I see. And... I don't know, it, was, it, it, it was really a letdown. It really was. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like I like No Man's Sky. You know, despite the criticism that it's gotten since release, you know, I quite enjoy the game. But even I've got to admit, finishing the Atlas Path, you know, to me was a letdown. So they they could have, they could have done so much more with that, and hopefully with future updates, maybe they will. We can keep our fingers crossed and hope. But you know, anyway, you know, that's it for now. Um, you know, I, I'd say probably the highlight of this episode was probably going through the black hole. Yeah, big whoop, I know. But, <laughs> but I mean, like I said, all in all, you know, I do enjoy the, the exploration aspect of this game. So, you know, it's just something for you to sit back, relax with, and just kind of enjoy and just do whatever type of thing. So, you know... Uh, obviously, the game's not for everyone, but you know, like I said, I enjoy it. So, um, 
yeah so i'm gonna leave it here so leave some comments down below if you like and as always i appreciate everybody taking the time to watch my videos and until next time i will see you in the games